COVID is overwhelming African hospitals as the Delta variant spreads. The director of the continent, CDC, says it's frightening. For the week ending on Sunday, COVID cases went in Africa 20 percent and deaths rose more than 16 percent. And that's the WHO. The global vaccination map shows Africa's trailing well behind the rest of the world. Only one percent of its billion population has vaccinated. We've talked about this many times on this program. Dr. Machitu Moeti, the WHO's regional director, is with me from Republic of Congo. Doctor, I, I, I can't see this ending in the short term, anything but badly. You have the Delta variant increasing, you've got hospitals and healthcare systems underway, and you've got a population that's not vaccinated. It is indeed a huge concern, and we are in WHO and the governments in the African region, in Africa, are very concerned about this situation. We're seeing the Delta variant present now in 16 countries, and in a few of them, South Africa, the Democratic Republic of the Congo and Uganda, it's recently the most uh, predominant variant when they do their genomic sequencing. So it is a very big concern. We are therefore very strongly advocating for everything that can be done, sharing of vaccine doses so that African countries can speed up their vaccination right. campaigns. This is vitally important. So I so agree with you very strongly. So it's estimated there are 11 billion doses needed for Africa, give or take. Uh, a billion or so were donated at the, at the G7. You're not even close. COVAX isn't even close. The numbers donated so far won't, will make a dent, but that's all. That's true. The situation is uh, very challenging at the moment. Uh, you know, uh, we have seen... And we have heard countries make these uh, promises of donations, which are very much appreciated by, by African countries. And at the same time, we've seen African governments take their position within the framework of the African Union to also look for vaccine supplies themselves. Uh, COVAX is challenged by several realities. The first is that what was this really great idea of this multilateral platform for global solidarity, for equity and access to vaccines has been hugely challenged by, first of all, supply challenges at a global level. Right. I think the capacity to produce was overestimated. And then the world's biggest producer, India, got into such a, a crisis with its own situation that they have not been able to deliver to COVAX as promised. Now, we know as well that uh, wealthy countries have bought up or reserved for themselves volumes of vaccines that are sometimes several times more than their population. So they certainly do have reserved more vaccine than they need. And so what we are urging in order to make a dent on this very challenging picture is first of all, to increase significantly the current donated promises. We have the right. G7 countries having do uh, committed to donate 870 million doses these are urgently needed. It is very important as well to release for the African Union's uh, vaccine task team to buy some of the vaccines that have been reserved by, by wealthy countries. And then African countries have to, have to gear up themselves to be able to it, it, deliver the vaccine when they yeah. receive them. So we need all of this to happen at the same time, super urgently. We, we, we have just a minute or so left. Ultimately, do you believe that more lockdowns will be necessary? Is that the way that to get over this third wave, this Delta wave, it'll have to be lockdowns? Yes, I'm afraid in some situations, lockdowns will be inevitable. I mean, governments are trying to avoid that, but sometimes it's necessary to cut or slow down the transmission and give the opportunity for public health measures to speed up again, and most importantly, for people who are frankly exhausted with some of the measures to get the energy to, to get going again and for the vaccination to catch up. So it may be necessary to do that, though it is very regrettable for economies, for families, for children needing to go to school, for many aspects of life in our countries. Doctor, thank you. I appreciate it. We will continue to talk more and we'll talk to you again, obviously, uh, when your, your busy duties allow. Thank you for joining us on Quest Means Business.